Hi everyone! Hi Nat here and I'm Nat and we're from the, the Traveling Boxes! Boxes. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've actually vlogged with Natasha yeah. because I'm based in Manila and me in Amsterdam. I mean Nat and I are originally from the Philippines and we have traveled around the islands together as well. So this video we are going to share with you our top 10 tips on how to survive the Philippines Island Edition. Edition. Number one, stay protected. The sun can be very harsh in the Philippines, so it's good to get really high SPF. And there are also other things such as sand flies, mosquitoes, and jellyfish things that you have to be very aware of. And there, you can actually get SPF now with anti-jellyfish thing, but I unfortunately ha have not found any of these lotions okay. yeah. in the Philippines. So before you come here, do buy some anti-jellyfish sting lotions aside from just the SPF. I've only been here for a couple of days in the island and I have a lot of mosquito yeah. bites right now. <laughs> so what really helps is for you to bring around a, a mosquito spray, especially Insect if you're, repellent, yeah. Yeah, it's hot, so you're gonna be wearing shorts and it helps. It Trust helps me. a lot. <laughs> and tip number two, protect your gadgets. Especially us, we travel around with our gadgets a lot, with, with, our, with our cameras, with our cell phones. Mm -hmm. And if we go island hopping, it's so easy to get it wet or even probably fall in the water. Yeah. And you don't want your vacation to be ruined because of and that. With no memories because it all went in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, so get yourself a dry bag. Um, yeah. You can find really cheap dry bags that do the job. Um, just on the side streets, there are some shops. But if you want high quality um, dry bags, you can get them in some sports shops. So tip number three is be flexible. Again, we are surrounded by so many islands and mother nature sometimes likes to play games with us so there are typhoon and even flooding yeah so always be flexible um a sample is like i booked a resort which is an island away from the airport and then a storm hit and the coast guards told us that you know no boats allowed on the water so we were kind of stranded we had to find a new place in the mainland and it was just quite you know, it was a hassle. It was a yeah, hassle a because hassle. we didn't plan for that. So, yeah. guys, always be flexible and always have plan B. Wow, that's crazy. And tip number four related to that is expect delays yeah. because, um, as Nat said, things can happen, especially when traveling, and especially in the Philippines, traffic is crazy. For example, you're going. Uh, you have a flight to the islands and just it's just to be safe you you have to be in the airport like two hours or three hours um, before yeah. and some flights here can be delayed again maybe because the bad weather or the airport traffic or the airport there's traffic. air traffic as well in the philippines yeah and aside from that don't book um, consecutive plans throughout the day always give space in between each plan so if it tell if they say it takes an hour to get somewhere always make it two so you always have an adjustment in between <laughs> now tip number five which i'm quite disappointed that a lot of filipinos don't know how to do which is swimming are you surprised i a am of, surprised there are over <laughs> seven thousand islands and a lot yeah. of people here don't know how to swim but as a precaution visiting the philippines please do learn how to swim i mean we offer life jackets when you're going on a boat but it's still safer to know how to, to swim least, no. you know you can enjoy your vacation a bit more yeah. knowing that you don't have to be you know cautious because you don't know how yeah to and aside from that the underwater world here is so beautiful yeah. so you don't want to miss that tip number six toughen up your belly especially if you're not from the philippines if you've ever heard of bali belly or delhi belly well they should actually mention manila or philippine, yeah, philippine belly, belly. Yeah. Yeah. not to say that the food here is not of high quality but just to be safe some people are not used to the quality of Food and water here especially right yeah. so especially in the islands it's best to to order bottled water rather than tap water yeah and even raw foods try to avoid raw foods because you don't know where they wash them another thing I've noticed as well is like don't be overexcited when eating new food probably your stomach gets it's not used to a lot of the ingredients so that's what causes your 
Philippine belly. <laughs> if it's too late, number one, well, drink lots and lots of fluids. Um, and number two, there are always um, some medicine available in the pharmacy. But if you have a bad tummy, just buy diet tabs. Um, it will help at least with the diarrhea. Probiotics, Yakult, uh, it's a good drink to just help up, toughen up your belly. Yeah, or your immune system. Yes. And that brings us to tip number seven, which is also toughen up your immune system. Some countries actually require you to have certain vaccines before coming to the Philippines. I mean, it could just be a precaution. Um, it could be a requirement, um, such as vaccines for hepatitis, for rabies, because there are actually a lot of stray, lot dogs, of stray dogs and yeah. cats. And also, I'm getting wet! <laughs> we were here for like 10 minutes. The water was that far and now it's just come in. Well, it's basically <laughs> saying we need to finish this vlog fast. We need to finish the vlog fast. <laughs> Clever location choice. But anyways, um, just check with your doctors in case you need specific um, vaccines before your trip here. Tip number eight is learn the basic language. Yeah. Filipinos generally know English, so you won't have a hard time getting around. And me and Nat, we speak English most of the time in our vlogs. Yeah. But our local language for me is is, is Tagalog, and she's from Bisaya. Is, yeah, Cebuano. So what words can we uh, teach them? So basic <laughs> words is after you're done eating and you enjoyed the food, you could say lami in Bisaya or masarap in Tagalog. If you want to compliment someone, you can say maganda for beautiful in Tagalog. And for Bisaya, it's guapo for a guy and guapa for a girl. Tip number nine before we get super wet because I'm already getting wet here is um, research. You don't want to have so many expectations and then you get disappointed because you know your expectations were up here and reality was down here. So there's so many websites, travel websites and vlogs that you can watch before visiting a place. I suggest you do that before um, going uh, to the islands. Before going to the islands yeah. Yeah, and checking out the different places different areas. or resorts for that matter. It helps also if you have a local friend, you can ask for local recommendations. We are your local friends. That's true. <laughs> you can always ask us, right? Yeah. <laughs> and finally, before we get washed over yeah. here, tip number 10 is have fun! You're in the Philippines, we're in Chirgao. It's it's so like the best here. island in the world. Yeah. And there's just so many activities to do here. You can swim, you can have a drink, Go to a bar, make Take friends. Take lots of photos. Lots of photos. And videos. Okay. So, hope you enjoyed this video. But wait, we are going to. <laughs> We're gonna go swim. I'm like dressed. It's really hot. <laughs> Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and I hope you guys can click subscribe to our channel so you get updated when we post more videos coming up soon. Yeah, bye! bye.